All right. Thank you everyone so much for coming to the webinar this morning. I'm very excited to be doing this for you today, and I really hope you find it valuable. I'm going to try not to go too fast, but we do have a lot to cover. Uh, some concepts may raise questions, so feel free to put your questions in the Q&A section, and we'll have time to address them at the end of the presentation. Let's make sure that you're in the right place. If you're taking a company or working for a company through a digital transformation, uh, trying to move more of a sales process online, you are definitely in the right place if you're scratching your head at the complexity. Perhaps your go-to-market strategy is causing some disruption and unhappiness in your organization. Or maybe you're just drowning in the details. You feel like there's just too many things to get done to, to, to get some success out of your transformation and still run your business. More than likely, if you are suffering from any of those, you're suffering from all three, which is not uncommon. No matter what company you're in, even what industry you're in, a digital transformation is always going to be complex. It's going to be disruptive. And it can be overwhelming if you don't have the right support in place to take you through it. A little bit about me. My name is Susan Merlo. My company is called Next Level iMedia. I'm a marketing consultant who focuses primarily on the distribution industry. I've been convinced for years distributors could do so much more when it comes to lead management strategies. I believe that if distributors were to put these strategies that other industries have proven over and over again that work to capture leads and qualify them, that it would give salespeople a lot more valuable leads to focus on. I've been speaking about it for eight years now, and you may have seen me out there. I've been on LinkedIn a lot lately. If you Google me, you'll see where I've been a guest on several podcasts, you know, like Dirk uh, Beverage and Scott Costa from, from TED Magazine. I've also written about a dozen articles for TED Magazine over the years. That's the electrical distributor magazine for the NAED. I've also presented a few times at live events over the years, and that's actually how I got my start in distribution, by presenting to a room full of distributors who were literally blown away by what I was telling them they could do using digital strategies. They would hear me talk about capturing leads online and nurturing them, and they'd want to do it right away. So by either speaking about it in, in public or guesting or writing about it, that's how I've gotten all my customers. They hear what we can do via digital, and they get really excited. The problem is, and I've seen this across the board. I've never not seen this in any distributor company that I've worked with yet. The dilemma that we face, I face, and these customers face and distributors in general face is that capturing leads and allowing automated systems to nurture leads and track them and pass them on to sales warmed up, ready to be converted is incredibly interesting to everyone until they realize it's a process that takes time and effort. You know, distributors, they'll, they'll start the process, but then other things crop up, right? Face-to-face -face sales, of course, will always take precedence. And it makes sense. Everyone's looking for that next closest sale. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, as they say. When you're in the throes of this process, it's really hard to convince people if they just stuck with it a little bit longer and saw it to fr fruition. It's really worth all the time and effort. Because of what I know about digital, I can see why it's actually better to have two in the bush versus that bird in the hand. I've continued to make this my mission and to somehow get distributors to see the light because a lot has, has changed over the past couple of years. Let's talk about some of that change. Buyers are changing how they're sourcing products and sourcing solutions. They have uh, the time now to do all their, and the resources to do all their research online and not have to pick up a phone to call a salesperson until they actually have to. 
for distributors or any business by not having a strong online presence that speaks to the customer and addresses an issue that the customer is interested in solving is taking a big risk. If you don't have that information on your website, he's going to find it somewhere else. We can't afford to have that happen. Another thing that we're seeing that's changing the landscape of the industry is that We're seeing more and more multi-generational leaders in distribution companies and in their customers' companies. They're seeing buyers who are now in their 20s or early 30s who grew up doing work on computers and they have no interest in talking to a, a salesperson. So that's disruptive. So distributors, they have to find other ways to get their message out there. Another disruptor, of course, that we see is from folks like Amazon and Alibaba and marketplaces popping up. Every time I open a new news article about distribution, it's about marketplaces. And so it seems like everyone and their mother is selling the same products as you're selling. And often like Amazon for a lot less money in the attempt, I guess, to take a big chunk of that business away from you. That is a huge disruptor. So this matters more than ever, of course, because digital is everywhere. And that means that there are just so many different ways to lose your customers if you're not prepared. You know, competition is coming at you in many different shapes and sizes. It's been scary for a while for distributors, but You know, they've always been able to hang on through good salesmanship. That's what their businesses have always been built on. And so even though they knew that this digital change was coming, they also kept kind of putting things off because they were so good uh, and are so good still at face-to-face sales. Then COVID hit. All of a sudden, salespeople couldn't get in front of their their customers. What was scary before, you might find a little bit scary now, but you know what? It really doesn't have to be because digital is not only available to everybody else out there, but it's more available than ever to you. Today and going forward, it's easier to put good digital strategies in place. It's more cost-effective and it gets more cost-effective as time goes on, like any technology. What we're talking about is more than just selling a product. This is about building customers' trust and having them realize that you are in business to serve their business, that you're there to see that they succeed, they meaning your customers. Now, this can't be accomplished as simply as selling a product for a good price. This is a long-term solution. You have to grab people's attention and keep it. You have to hold it and prove to them that you're the most valuable partner that they'd be able to work with, and they'd be crazy not to work with you. And that's what uh, capturing, nurturing, qualifying, and converting more leads is all about, right? You can capture a lead, but that doesn't mean they're going to buy from you. You have to use the whole nurturing sequence to warm them up and use the, the technology to understand what they're looking for. Hey, it's Susan Merlo. If you like that video and want to learn more, call or text me. I'd love to hear about your business and show you how this would work for your sales team.